Hello, everybody. I'm Toby Delbrook, together with Rui and Marcin from the Institute of Neuroinformatics. I'm going to tell you about our work to write up the feedback control of event cameras. The idea of this paper is to write up uh, some experiments that I did about 10 years ago, initially, um, and post it on the web, but nobody followed up on it. But it's the idea that uh, inside the camera, the DVS camera, you have controls that can limit the bandwidth of the camera or control the event threshold or control the refractory period between events. And you can now measure statistically the output of the event camera and uh, like the event rate or the signal and noise and apply a control policy to go back inside the pixel and control the pixel parameters to limit some parameter of interest like for example, the event rate. So it's fair to say that many computer vision users of DVS event cameras don't know how the pixels really work very well because they're not circuit designers, that's natural. Uh, but the circuit designers like us do understand that when you change the bias currents on the photoreceptor or the source follower buffer that follows, that controls the bandwidth of the pixel, the temporal bandwidth of the pixel. Likewise, when we control the uh, bias currents into the change amplifier or the comparators, especially the ratio of the bias currents, we can control the event threshold. So we control how much brightness change, log intensity change it takes to make events. And finally, by controlling the bias currents to this reset circuit, which generates this reset pulse here, um, we, by reducing this bias current here, we can increase the amount of time that it takes for the pulse to go away. And so we can control the refractory dead time between events. I'm going to demonstrate this feedback control into the DVS pixel of refractory period using this Davis 346 mini camera exposed in JR here. What you see here on the left is the JR output, uh, the DVS output. You can see my hand and you can also see this fidget I have here. I can spin it to create a high event rate. You can read the event rate up here in events in thousands or millions of events per second. If I turn off the DBS bias controller and spin this fidget, you can see it goes up to about 8 million events per second, quite a high rate. Now, in this DBS bias controller, which is the algorithm that we report in the paper, we've selected the type of control to limit the event rate. We set the high limit to 1.6 million events per second and we've set the tweak step amount to 50 millis per control step, and we've set the min command interval to 100 millisecond. Now this control is actually enabled. Look at the event right here, and look at the tweak. This is the tweak right here of the refractory period. As this fidget starts spinning faster, the tweak is increased, but now the event rate, when I spin the, the fidget very fast, only goes up to about 4 million events per second, or 3 million, because of this limit of the refractory period. If you're interested in exploring further, download JR, play with the algorithms, make them better. I think that this capability will be quite useful for IoT and mobile robotics applications when a human is not part of the control loop of the camera. Thank you.